This lesson serves as an introduction. We talk about all the different disciplines of engineering. We talk about infrastructure and we talk about shelter over time. There are a couple activities and each activity is designed to get the kids thinking and moving and keep them engaged throughout. When we talk about shelter, we talk about building materials and how materials over time are what have given us all of the, the cool things we see today. So for example, when we talk about uh, infrastructure and shelter in the past and infrastructure today, our job as a teacher is to try and get kids to understand that it's, it's materials that have moved forward. And so without steel, we never would have been able to build skyscrapers. Um, a simple example I use sometimes is if we were still building things out of stone, the problem is the weight at the bottom uh, wouldn't be able for all that's above it and so like the pyramids when you build out of stone the taller you go the wider you have to go whereas when you build with steel you can build straight up because it's nice and strong. The first activity is to build uh, paper towers and so really simple materials we just have uh, sheets of paper so each child should get about two sheets and the idea is to try and build something as tall as they can with one sheet of paper and so I like to say that like the bare minimum is one sheet tall. They're encouraged to, to chop with it, to, to mess around, but what they're not allowed to do is use glue. So each child has two sheets, and something handy to do might be to go so far as rip it in half. These are just ideas. Um, and so we might. We get the idea. Yeah. So try and encourage them to build something taller than one sheet. Um, you can get them to use blocks, you can get them to do anything that they, they want, but this is just a really basic uh, representation here. Um, see the slides for some cool examples afterwards. Um, I would recommend spending no more than two or three minutes on this so that we can get through the rest of the lesson nice and quick. Another activity in this lesson is the human bridge. So you're going to want to demonstrate what you mean by this and you're going to ask what kinds of kids would make the different parts of the bridge well. And so what we're trying to get at here is we're trying to say that the tallest children will make good spans and that the strongest children, not the heaviest, will make a good butters. So get the tall kids to stand together with their hands at an angle and get the strong kids at the bottom and you can build a, a human tower, or sorry, a human arch. And fun thing to do then is to maybe hang a school bag off the center. So if you get a child to hold a school bag at arm's length, there's only so many minutes they can do it before it gets really tiring. Whereas if you have two kids uh, pushed together in a human arch, you can hang a school bag off it and they won't get tired at all. Another activity in this lesson is building a bridge out of lollipop sticks, uh, rubber bands, and office clips. This is open to lots of interpretation. Uh, what we try and do is get the kids to bridge a gap that is about 30 centimeters long. So we want them to build a bridge that can go from edge to edge um, and hopefully support some weight. The easiest thing to do is get them to pull their desks apart and set up a 30 centimeter gap. And then you can use the lollipop sticks in any way you want. Um, some basic, basic designs are to overlap the lollipop sticks like this. So if we have two here, we will overlap one. You may then use a clip. To hold that in place, you have a span. You can then do the same thing again. Use a clip. Doing this in teams will be handy because one child can open up the clasp and the other child puts in the little pop stick. But you can see there, we now have a 30 centimeter gap using two clasps or whatever you want to call them, clips. Do another one the far side, and then you'll have your gap bridged. 
And using rubber bands, it's much the same. So just get a few rubber bands. So on and so forth, if you build that out, you can cross the gap. I would recommend making maybe two or three of these and then you can put the weight across. But uh, very common uh, or very simple concepts there. Um, stuff we built earlier. If you have quite a few clips, you can come up with something like this. And then reinforce. This, obviously, you want to talk to the kids, takes a lot more clips than other designs. Uh, if you really want to go all out, you can make stuff like this, which will bridge a gap. But this would be more of a group effort. We won't expect any child to get this done in the short time. So if you see a child struggling, these are the kind of hints and tips you want to give them. So double them over for your clips. And the clips might not always be this big, and so they might be easier to use again. Uh, the rubber bands is a foolproof way of doing it. It's all just about adding another lollipop stick and going from there. By the end of this lesson then, the kids should understand that engineering is everywhere. There are loads of different kinds of engineers, from civil and mechanical all the way to uh, biomedical and process. The engineers specifically involved in this lesson are civil engineers. Um, we should have run through our activities and you can check out the slides for the questions for next week's lesson.